Hi Tenfold, my name is Sarah Ngobese from Soweto. Um, I have a homework here that I've been struggling with and I'd really appreciate your help. Um, I was given the word perpendicular and uh, the questions are as follows. How many ways can the letters in the word above be arranged? How many repetitions can be found if we wrote out the words we created in question one? Third question, how many unique ways can the word perpendicular be Okay, great question, Sarah. Thank you so much for sending it through to us. I really love this question because it's actually going to help me go into a little bit of advanced maths with you guys, help you understand how you can make combinations with different kinds of letters and things. So let's take a look at this question. It says, look at the word given, perpendicular. Okay, so obviously we're looking at the letters of perpendicular. How many ways can the letters in the word above be arranged? Okay, so firstly we need to know how many letters there are. In perpendicular there are 13 letters. Okay, it says in how many ways can these 13 letters be arranged? doesn't say anything about repetitions not being allowed or anything like that. So you know the moment you have how many ways can you repeat them? It's going to be 13 factorial. Okay. So I'm not going to, I mean, you can try and work this out. 13 factorial is going to be a really, really big number. We're going to get, wow, that is a massive number. It looks like 6 billion, 227 million. It's a massive number. So if you wrote 13 factorial, that should be fine. But if you're in doubt, write out the answer. So it's going to be 6227, 0 to 0, 800. So that is... 6,227,020,800 different ways you can write the word perpendicular out. My goodness, that is a lot of combinations of 13 letters. Second, it says how many repetitions can be found if we wrote out the words we created in question one? Okay, wow. So if you went and wrote out all 6 billion of these words, how many repetitions of words I mean, they're going to make up really gobbledygook um, words, obviously. If you're rearranging letters randomly, you're going to get really weird words. But if we went and wrote out all of these combinations, how many repetitions are we going to find? So what they're testing is for you to see that there are two P's in perpendicular. There are two E's in perpendicular. And lastly, there are two R's in perpendicular. So the moment you have doubles of letters in your word, you are bound to get repetitions because that R could come first or that R could come first. That P could come first or that P could come first. So they are going to be repetitions. Okay. So in terms of repetitions, if I said, okay, my word's going to start with a P, I have two different options for that P. So there's going to be two factorial over there. If I say next, there's going to be an E. Well, there are two E's as well. So that's two repetitions of E as well. And lastly, if I say, okay, third, R is going to come. Well, we have two repetitions of R as well. So the number of repetitions that you could have out of these six billion words is two factorial multiplied by two factorial multiplied by two factorial. Remember, 2 factorial is just 2 multiplied by 1, which is 2. So 2 times 2 times 2, and that is going to give us 8 different ways, 8 different possible repetitions of the words. Okay, so out of those 6 billion combinations that we found, 8 of them are going to repeat, be repeats of other words. Question 3 says, how many unique ways can the word perpendicular be arranged? So what this means is, remember, we worked out that perpendicular can be arranged just over six billion times, can be rearranged. But we also worked out that there are eight repetitions in there, okay? So we need to get rid of this eight. So we're going to say that out of these six billion, we need to divide by eight repetitions. So unique ways excluding the repetitions is going to be I'm going to say 13 factorial because I'm not writing out that 6 billion again divided by 8 and that is going to give us well we already have 13 factorial up on the calculator divided by 8 
is going to give us this massive number. So it's going to be 778 377,600. So this is 778,377,600 unique ways that the word perpendicular can be rearranged. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Remember, this was the total number of ways, including repetitions, and this is the number of repetitions that could be made. So we needed to get rid of the repetitions and we got this number. And lastly, it says, if five letters are randomly chosen from perpendicular, how many unique groups of letters can be made? Okay, so in this question, it gives me an opportunity to bring in some advanced maths that maybe you guys haven't encountered yet. Okay, so when we do probability, you're going to start going into binomial expansion. If you do add maths, you may already be there. Otherwise, if you take it in um, university, you might get there. Basically, it's saying that when you expand a whole bunch of different probabilities, you're going to get different coefficients that can be predicted. So in this instance, we're going to have what we call n choose m. So the notation looks like this. And basically what this says is how many um, groups of m or instances of m can I choose, choose group of m objects, let's say objects. How many groups of M objects can I choose given N objects? So to relate this back to our question, it's saying if five letters are randomly chosen out of our 13, remember we had 13 total. How many groups of five letters? So in the case of N choose M, this is basically how you say it, N choose M. How many combinations of five letters can I make out of the 13 we had in total? And the expansion of this is basically when you have n choose m, you expand it to say that it's n factorial divided by m factorial multiplied by n minus m all factorial. Okay, this is not in your matrix syllabus, but you will cover this at a later stage. So I'm basically just showing you how you would do this. So how many combinations of five random letters can I choose from perpendicular? So if we use this expansion, it's going to give n, which is the top number, factorial, divided by m, the bottom number, which is five, factorial, all multiplied by n minus m factorial. So n was 13, minus m, which was five, and that whole thing, factorial. Okay. So, we're still going to have 13 factorial in the numerator, 5 factorial in the denominator, 13 minus 5 is 8. So we're going to have 5 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial. And this will basically give us how many unique 5 letter numbers or words that we can make from perpendicular. So, 13, remember your factorial button is here. If you look at the x to the power of negative 1 button, if you press shift and that button, you get factorial. In the denominator, we've got 5 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial, and we get 1,287. And that's how many unique five-letter groups, unique groups of letters can be made from the letters found in the word perpendicular. Okay, so great fourth question of the day. Thank you so much for sending it through, guys. Please make sure you download our app. We have specifically put together the content that we have in mind for you and your matrix. So obviously, me and my fellow teachers, my colleagues have sat down and written these videos with you in mind to see where you struggle, maybe help you with that, go a bit slower on the fast paced subjects, just so that you can sit and revise through all of your stuff. So make sure you check out our Tenfold Education app.